Okay, so I'm currently updating my Vulkan drivers uh, using PyKiss. Uh, PyKiss has an automated script that allows you to do that. You can see that it's going through all these different steps to install it. I don't know if it's going to be the latest version. The reason I'm doing it is because of this announcement yesterday on the Raspberry Pi blog. So Vulkan update we're conformant. So uh, Vulkan update we're conformant. Today we have a guest post uh, working on the Mesa driver stack for Raspberry Pi 4. It's been nearly a year since we first announced that we're developing a Vulkan driver for the latest generation of Raspberry Pi devices, Pi 4 and Pi 400, and Compute Module 4. In June, we released the source code for our prototype driver, and last month we announced that the driver had been successfully merged to Mesa upstream. Today, we have some very exciting news to share. As of 24th of November, the V3DV Vulkan Mesa driver for Raspberry Pi 4 has demonstrated Vulkan 1.0 conformance. Cronus describes the conformance process as a way to ensure that its standards are consistently implemented by multiple vendors so as to create a reliable platform for application developers. For each standard, Cronus provides a large conformance test suite that implementations must pass successfully to be declared conformant. In the case of Vulkan 1.0, the CTS contains over 100,000 tests. Vulkan 1.0 conformance is a major milestone in bringing Vulkan to Raspberry Pi, but isn't the end of the journey. Our team continues to work to all fronts to expand the Vulkan feature set, improve performance and fix bugs. So stay tuned for future Vulkan updates. So things that use Vulkan, uh, Twister OS in the latest release, so 1.9.1, uh, if you have a look at the change log, uh, they mention about having updated Vulkan driver and also uh, it says here thanks to Jose for his Vulkan driver update script. So this is the script that I'm using here, the, the script that's in PyKiss. Uh, as I say, I don't know if this is going to be the latest version, but uh, I'm sure Jose will let us know uh, when the latest version is available. Other things that use it, uh, so Munka in Munka Jaro was using it for the PlayStation emulator, uh, PPSSPP uses it, and also uh, RetroArch uses it as well. So there's all sorts of support for Vulkan, and uh, as things go on, this can only be a great thing. Now, this update is going to take a while, so I'm going to have to get to work, and... Uh, I'll, uh, I'll try it out when I get home. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.